Welcome back to Guideline Central. My name is Dr. Tabitha Misho, and today we're going to be discussing the 2022 guidelines released by the American Academy of Family Physicians, or the AAFP, titled Blood Pressure Targets in Adults with Hypertension, published November 14th, 2022 in the AAFP's main journal. Now, the purpose of this guideline is to provide recommendations relative to primary care blood pressure targets and was actually an update based on the systematic review of all of the randomized control trials from the database inception until May 2019 and is intended to provide updates for recommended blood pressure targets for adults with hypertension with or without cardiovascular disease. and these recommendations were developed using a modified version of the grade system. And that means for each of the recommendations, they have been evaluated and assigned both a strength of recommendation of either strong or weak, as well as a certainty of evidence grading of either high, moderate, or low. Now for this guideline, we only have two recommendations from the AAFP on blood pressure targets, but we'll also do a little review at the end of some of the comparisons of blood pressure target goals suggested by different medical societies. So with that, let's get into the guidelines. So our first recommendation from the AAFP is a strong recommendation with a high certainty of evidence, and that's for the recommendations that clinicians treat adults with hypertension to a standard blood pressure target of less than 140 over 90 to reduce the risk of all-cause and cardiovascular-related mortality. They do include additional commentary that treating to a blood pressure target goal of a lower, like 135 over less than 85, doesn't actually have any help in preventing mortality. However, based on the patient and the clinical considerations and their values and their preferences, you can consider treating to this lower blood pressure target goal. So in our last recommendation, we discussed that even if you treat to that lower blood pressure target goal, it doesn't have much additional benefit in terms of preventing mortality. However, for our second recommendation, which is a weak recommendation with a moderate certainty of evidence, the AAFP suggests that clinicians consider treating adults with hypertension to a lower blood pressure goal of less than 135 over 85 in order to help reduce the risk of myocardial infarction. Now, the AAFP does mention that Although the standard blood pressure target goal of less than 140 over 90 does help reduce the risk of myocardial infarction, there is additional benefit to treating patients to a less than 135 over 85 goal as well. However, there was no observed benefit in reducing the risk of stroke when going for these lower blood pressure targets. So that wraps up the two recommendations from the AAFP on blood pressure target goals. So let's go over some of the comparisons of different blood pressure target recommendations from current guidelines from other medical societies, including the American Academy of Family Physicians, the 2022 recommendations from the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, or NICE, the 2021 recommendations from the European Society of Hypertension Council, or ESHC, the 2020 recommendations from the International Society of Hypertension, or ISH, the 2020 U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs and U.S. Department of Defense, or VA DOD recommendations, the 2017 American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association, or ACC AHA's recommendations, the 2017 American College of Physicians and American Academy of Family Physicians, or ACP AAFP recommendations, and the 2014 Eighth Joint National Committee, or EJNC. Now, when we compare these recommendations, we're gonna be looking across four key age groups. That's gonna be 18 to 59 year olds, 60 to 69 year olds, 70 to 79 years old, and adults 80 years old or older. Now keep in mind that these comparisons are going to be for most people within these age groups and these groups. Now there are some caveats that you can see on the table, but if you're not watching the video and just listening along, you can also find these tables in both the full text guideline and the guideline summary, which there's a link to and the summary itself on our website at guidelinecentral.com. Now for our first age group, 18 to 59 years old. The 2022 guidelines from AAFP and NICE both have set their targets of less than 140 over 90, which is actually where the 2014 Eighth Joint National Committee guidelines have been for nearly a decade. Now, ESHC, ISH, and ACC AHA 
all have the target as less than 130 over 80, while the VA and DOD have a target of less than 130 over 90, and the 2017 ACP AAFP guidelines did not provide a goal for that age range. Next, the recommendations for 60 to 69 year olds. So for this age range, the AAFP, NICE, and the ISH all gave targets of less than 140 over 90, while the ESHC and ACC AHA gave targets of less than 130 over 80, and the VA, DOD, ACP, AAFP, and the EJNC all gave a target of less than 150 over 90. Moving on to the 70 to 79 year old age range. So once again, the AAFP and the NICE guidelines are in agreement at a less than 140 over 90 goal, as well as the ISH. Now for the ESH, their goal is less than 140 over 80, while ACC AHA gave a goal of less than 130 over 80. And the EJNC, ACP AAFP, and VA DOD all gave a goal of less than 150 over 90. And for our last age range, for adults who are 80 or older, blood pressure goals from the AAFP, once again, were goals of less than 140 over 90. ISH said the same. Now NICE, the VA and DOD, the ACP, AAFP, and EJNC all gave a goal of less than 150 over 90, while ESHC gave a goal of less than 140 over 80, and ACC, AHA are all alone at their goal of less than 130 over 80. So that wraps up our recommendations from the AAFP on blood pressure targets for adults with hypertension and our quick reference overview of some of the comparisons of blood pressure target recommendations from different medical societies. Now, of course, this was just the bird's eye view approach in our quick reference format. So if you're looking for more information about these guidelines and how these recommendations were developed, as well as that comparison table was showing the different recommendations for blood pressure targets from different medical societies, you can find the link to the full text guideline on our website at guidelinescentral.com, as well as the guideline summary that has all the comparison tables there as well. Now, while you're on the site, make sure to check out our library of hundreds of medical clinical practice guidelines from over 45 different medical societies. Thank you guys for talking with us today about blood pressure targets, and we'll see you on the next guideline.